What is going on guys? Derek here. Hey, listen, I just wanted to make a quick video showing you some of the basic features of CapCut. All right, so this is an incredibly powerful tool that is free to use, right? So they got a free plan. I think you can upgrade uh, to their paid plan, but it's really not needed. They have so much to offer and there's so many cool tools that you can use on their free plan. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna try to make this relatively quickly here um, and just show you some of the basic tools that I use regularly uh, in CapCut. So they have a web version and then they have their, you know, you can download, uh, I got a Mac and you can download the app on your in your computer. The way it works is a little bit different. And then of course you, they have their app for their phone. So when you make an account with them, make sure you log in using the same account for the web version, for your download on your computer and for your phone, right? So that way when it does store stuff up in the cloud, you can access that same cloud from all different places, from your phone and your computer and on uh, on the web. So anyway, so let's, let's get started. I just wanted to show you a couple of cool things here. So if you look right here in the center, it says clips to video. You can literally just put, I believe you can put images and you can hit a button and I think it'll make a video for you. Super, super cool. Script to, script to video, if you go over to chat GPT and you, you have it write you a script, you know, whatever, you know, script you want and then you just give it to CapCut, it'll make a video for you. How cool is that? Long video to shorts, all you have to do uh, on this particular one, you ha actually have to upload a video to this page, and then it will make short form videos for you out of the, the long video. So I know some other websites or some other tools, you can literally, you know, just copy and paste the URL of like the YouTube video, but this one you need the file. So it's a little bit different. But anyway, it's still a cool, cool feature though. Oh, and one other cool thing I wanted to show you real quick here. If you click on magic tools, and then over here, I use this one quite a bit. You can remove the background of an, of an image, or I think even maybe a video. You just upload it and then hit remove background. It'll remove the background. And it's one of my favorite features that I use all the time. So anyway, if you're going to make a video, all right, so you're going to click on create new in the upper left, and you have a couple different options. You can do a blank canvas. You can do 16 by 9 for YouTube and Facebook or you can do nine by 16 for, you know, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, those, that's basically your, like your uh, phone size videos. So we're, we're gonna make a regular video 16 by nine. So on this page, what you can do is you can literally click this up, this plus button here, and it, it will upload a video from your computer into CapCut and then you can go ahead and edit it as needed. You can you can actually add text, you can add captions, you just click on captions and it will auto automatically generate the captions for you, which is really, really cool. <clears throat> you can, I think you can add elements like stickers and stuff like that, effects. So you can, there's a lot that you can do, but anyway, so, if you were going to make a video, this is what you'd have to do. You click on the record button and you have a couple different options. You can record with webcam. So this would be just, you know, if you have a webcam on your computer, it's just going to record you talking. That's it. It's not going to record your screen or anything else. The next one down will record your tab. So whatever's whatever tab that you're on, it'll just record that one tab. It'll it, When you click on it, it'll ask you which one you want to basically see here, window, entire screen, Chrome tab. So it's asking you which one you want to select, okay? I'm not gonna do it because I'm recording right now. And then you can re record the entire screen. So that way, if you're, you know, like if you're giving a presentation and you wanted to, you know, show everyone each tab, what you would do is you just you select this one and as you switch between the tabs on your computer, you know, it'll show the viewers, you know, or the or your recording, it'll display what's on the other tabs, which is kind of nice. Or you can just make a, a simple 
audio file, audio recording, okay? And then once you do that, you hit stop recording and it will literally add that directly to this page. It'll add it here on the timeline and then you can edit it as needed, right? Again, you can add text, you can add captions. I don't think it'll let me do it here because we're recording, but you can just do a ton of cool stuff. So for example, these are ones I've done already here in the past. We'll just pick this one for an example. You can double click it or you can drag and drop it. So after you make a recording, it's gonna look like this. And what you can do is you can move yourself around, you know, make, make yourself larger, smaller, put it at the bottom left, bottom right, upper right, upper left, wherever you want, which is super cool. And then you can move this around. Let's just say you don't need, you don't need to show that stuff all the way on the top, all the tabs that you have. You can kind of clean it up here, resize the screen to fit accordingly. And then if you click on this and hit smart tools and hit remove background, it will remove the background there. It's removed. Isn't that cool? And again, you can still move it around. You can still adjust the size. So there's so much you can do with this, you know, and again, if you wanted to do ca captions, you can, again, I don't think it'll work because we're, I'm recording, but you just click on captions over here on the left and you hit auto captions and you hit generate. It'll literally just generate the captions, you know, through the whole video. And then you can edit the captions. Uh, you can edit the size of the text. You can add different text. You can add effects if you want. I think they even have uh you know, like if you're making a YouTube video, you can have like subscribe messages in the background or pop-ups, some sort of really cool effects. I haven't had a chance to do that quite yet, but I know it's in here somewhere. But anyway, there's a lot that you can do. Um, some of these, they do limit to the pro version, but again, you can still do so much with the free version. So, and then once you're done with your editing your video, all you have to do is just hit export. And then it's asking you, you know, do you want to, export it to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you can connect all your social medias and just upload it directly to your social media, or you can download it to your device, keep it or, or upload it to one of these um, platforms at a later date, okay? So anyway, that's that. I just wanted to show you some of the cool features that I use in CapCut every single day. And again, I don't even know half of the stuff that it has to offer. There's so many features that are really, really powerful. And if you're not familiar with CapCut, then I would strongly recommend that you start using it. So I'll go ahead and leave a link below this video and you guys can go ahead and download CapCut or make an account on, you know, on their web version and start using it, okay? So uh, I hope this helps and I appreciate you watching the video. I will see you in the next video.